The Nothing Phone 1 made waves when it first debuted a few years ago with its unique design and signature glyph lighting. Last year, the brand introduced its successor with the Nothing Phone 2, featuring some major refinements and overall improvements, but retaining the same design language we've all come to love. However, there is one issue with the Nothing Phone 2. It's the price. It's not exactly the most affordable phone on the market, starting at 38,990 pesos for the 12 gigabyte plus 256 gigabyte variant. While it does offer good price to performance value, not everyone can cough up that big of an amount. Now though, nothing has ventured into something more affordable with the Nothing Phone 2A, with prices starting at just 18,990 pesos. Since it's more affordable, it is a bit down on specs compared to the Nothing Phone 2, packing just a Dimensity 7200 chipset and less storage. But is it worth it? Well, I'm Osef from Yugatech and let's find out in this review of the Nothing Phone 2A. Let's start with the design. As you would expect, the design of the Nothing Phone 2A looks similar to that of the original Nothing Phone 1 and the Nothing Phone 2. It's their signature design language after all, so there's no need to change it up. One of the biggest changes in terms of design is the camera. It's positioned at the top center of the phone in the landscape layout as opposed to the top left with a standing layout on the more powerful Nothing Phone 2. Another difference is the number of glyph LEDs. While there are 33 LEDs on the Nothing Phone 2, the Nothing Phone 2A only has three, which are found around the camera housing. Unlike the Nothing Phone 2, the 2A also has a plastic back panel instead of glass. The frame is also made out of plastic, so you don't get that very premium feel, especially if you've tried the Nothing Phone 1 and 2. Although the phone does feel sturdy and it has a good weight to it. Like the Nothing Phone 2, the volume rocker is found on the left side of the phone, while the power button is on the right side. They're placed in the middle of the frame, making them easy to reach and reachable with one hand, and also great for users with smaller hands. At the bottom, you'll find a dual SIM card slot, a USB-C port, and the main microphone, along with the loudspeaker. A secondary microphone sits at the top, while the earpiece doubles as a loudspeaker when you're watching videos. So yes, you do get stereo loudspeakers even on the Nothing Phone 2A. Overall, the use of plastic materials does make the Nothing Phone 2A not feel as premium, especially if you've tried the Nothing Phone 1 and 2. But it does feel sturdy and you get IP54 resistance. It's not as heavy too, weighing only 190 grams. However, this white color that we have does hide the glyph lighting when it's not in use, so it's not as unique, especially compared to if you had a black model. Flip it over, and you're greeted by a 6.7-inch AMOLED display. I was surprised to find that it's not the same LTPO OLED display used on the Nothing Phone 2, even though the resolution is identical. It's not bad though. The original black theme that comes with the phone, once you boot it up, does not give you a good grasp of the color the display offers. Yes, you do get very deep blacks when you take a look at it, but it's when you watch videos or check out photos, you start to see how colorful the screen really is. You can even change the display settings between Alive, which gives off more vivid colors or choose standard. Not to mention, you also have a bright backlight with a peak of 1300 nits. This makes it more than adequate if you plan on using the phone under direct sunlight. With a 120Hz dynamic refresh rate, you also get smooth animations whether you're going through the menu, watching videos, or more importantly, playing games. For reference, the Nothing Phone 2A can play YouTube videos up to 2160p and it is here that you get to fully immerse yourself in the phone's display. Not to mention, the viewing angles are quite decent as well. Whether you're watching videos or playing games, you will enjoy the stereo loudspeaker of the Nothing Phone 2A. You get decent bass and the mids are quite clear. More importantly, the speakers are loud enough for watching in a group setting. Now, Let's talk about the camera on the Nothing 2A. Like the Nothing Phone 2, you get a dual rear camera setup with two 50 megapixel sensors. The first one, which is the main shooter, features an f1.9 wide lens, while the other is an f2.2 ultra wide. At the front, you get a 32 megapixel camera for selfies. Now, does this sound familiar? Because that seems to be the same camera setup found on the Nothing Phone 2. With that, it's no surprise the photos taken by this phone come out great. 
they're sharp and you do get good details all around. However, even in well-lit conditions, some of the photos look overly saturated and edited for my liking. Overall though, they are great and to the more casual photographers, you can even directly upload these to social media without having to post process. The same can be said though when taking photos in low light conditions or at night. The photos aren't as sharp and you get a lot more noise and the difference from when you're shooting the day is quite obvious. The phone's AI algorithm doesn't do a great job enhancing the photos either since you lose a lot of detail especially when there's really no light. To some of you viewers, these low light photos might still be usable but from my experience, there are better phones for taking photos in low light conditions or at night. Now, there aren't too many camera modes to choose from on the Nothing Phone 2A. Aside from photo mode, you will probably be using portrait mode often. While you do get decent bokeh, the camera does take a while to figure out what part of the image to blur out. And like before, you can use glyph lighting to give the subject some fill light if that's what you want. In terms of video, the Nothing Phone 2A can record up to 4K at 30 FPS. Unlike the photos, the video quality is decent during the day and in well-lit environments. However, like the photos as well, the quality does drop off once you start losing light. As you can see from this montage of photos and videos, you have an idea of just what the Nothing Phone 2A's camera can do. Now, let's check out what's under the hood. Powering the Nothing Phone 2A is a MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro. Our review unit comes with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. The storage space might seem adequate for you, but if you plan on taking a lot of photos and downloading a lot of apps, it might end up lacking in the future. Remember, there is no storage expansion for the Nothing Phone 2A. If you get the 8GB plus 128GB variant, you're limited with space even further. With that, better be mindful of the apps you download because you might end up losing space in the future. But space is just one thing. In terms of performance, the Nothing Phone 2A is smooth when you're going through menus and for the day-to-day -day task. The MediaTek Dimensity 7200 does a great job. Surprisingly, it does seem to lag when you have multiple apps running in the background. Even when you're watching YouTube videos and just switching from 480p to 1440p, you'll notice the video lagging and frames jumping, especially if you have several apps running in the background. When gaming though, the phone can easily run lighter games without any issues like Mobile Legends, Asphalt 9, and COD Mobile. But when you're playing more graphic intensive titles like Genshin Impact, you do have to tweak the settings a bit to have a longer and more enjoyable gaming experience. Granted, it can run Genshin at the max settings and at 60 FPS, but the phone does end up heating up after a while. And once it heats up, that's when you'll notice the frame rate drops and the phone starting to lag. Still, it's not bad given that this isn't exactly a gaming phone and this isn't exactly the top spec nothing phone. To give you a better idea, you can check out the benchmark scores right here. In terms of OS, the Nothing Phone 2A runs on Nothing UI 2.5.4, which is based on Android 14. Nothing UI itself looks really cool, and it's one of the features that make Nothing Phones rather distinct from other Android smartphones on the market. Most of the apps end up featuring a unique monotone design, although some still have colors like Genshin Impact and the benchmarking apps we use. There is no bloatware though, which is great, although you do get some of Nothing's app like the Nothing X and safety. There are also various personalization options to choose from, so you can set it up to however you like. The feature you'll likely be tinkering with a lot is the glyph interface. Here you can adjust how bright the glyph lighting is, have a volume indicator, and a lot more. You can even integrate the glyph with third-party apps to your liking. Meanwhile, music visualization automatically syncs the glyph lighting to the music that's playing. And yes, it even works when you're just watching YouTube. The battery on the Nothing Phone 2A is a 5000 mAh unit, which is standard in most phones today. It lasts very long if you're just using it for everyday use, which includes checking emails, scrolling through social media, watching videos, and of course, listening to music. I did notice the battery drains quite faster if you end up binge watching a lot of videos on YouTube or Netflix or you're playing games for extended periods of time. This is especially true when the phone starts heating up from long gaming sessions or playing more graphic intensive titles like Genshin Impact on Macs. 
graphics. Based on PCWorks 3.0 battery test, the Nothing Phone 2 A scored an impressive 17 hours and 34 minutes at 50% brightness, zero volume, and in airplane mode. We also played a few ranked games on Mobile Legends and managed to get a result of 7.5 hours of gameplay at 50% brightness, 50% volume, and in Wi-Fi mode only. When you do need to recharge, you do get 45 watt fast charging, which is decent in juicing up the battery. Overall, the phone is very power efficient still and managed to beat its more powerful siblings, the Nothing Phone 2 and the Nothing Phone 1 in the same test. I guess MediaTek wasn't lying when they said that the Dimensity 7200 Pro has best in class power efficiency. In terms of connectivity, you get the complete options here. 5G and 4G connectivity, Wi-Fi 6 support, Bluetooth 5.3, NFC, and GPS. So, all in all, the budget-friendly Nothing Phone 2A may look like its expensive counterparts and it is a great phone, but it doesn't have the solid build feel I got from the Nothing Phone 2 and the Nothing Phone 1. You also get less glyph lighting to play with, which is one of the unique points of both the Nothing Phone 1 and 2. While it is still a great phone, I feel the performance aspects and even the camera could use some improvement. Then again, we have to set our expectations. The Nothing Phone 2A is nearly half the price of the Nothing Phone 2, and at 18,990 pesos, it will be hard to find a phone that stands out better in terms of design. For those of you interested, the Nothing Phone 2A is now available in the Philippines via local retailer Digital Walker. The Nothing Phone 2A comes in two configurations. The 8GB of RAM plus 128GB of storage priced at 18,990 pesos, and a 12GB plus 256GB combo for 20,990 pesos. At the end of the day, it's still a lot cheaper compared to the Nothing Phone 2. But what do you think of the Nothing Phone 2? Is it something you'll consider or would you rather save up a bit more to buy the Nothing Phone 2 or maybe even a different model altogether? Whatever the case, share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it informative, do drop a like and subscribe to our channel to watch more contents like this one. Don't forget to follow us on our social media channels as well, which includes Facebook, Instagram, X, and TikTok. And of course, visit yugatech.com to stay updated with the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Jose, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.